my friends, it's good to see you here this morning. I am here with my pal Travis, and we are finishing up our Bible lesson series on David and Goliath. Now, last week, if you guys saw, we went somewhere special. We, yep, yeah, it was a little sunny, that's right. We went up to the hill and we looked over um, um, some mountains and we thought about what it might have been like if David had been out in the field because he was protecting his, sh yes, it not, he wasn't fighting bears like Travis, no. He was protecting his sheep and he was fighting off lions and he was doing brave things, huh? So, but today friends, we're gonna kind of wrap everything up with David and Goliath and go back and try and remember all the life lessons that we learned through the story of David and Goliath. Friends, the first one that we learned was how God helped David do hard things like fend off the sheep, save the sheep, huh? Yes, that must have been hard. Did you think about how hard that was to be out in the field protecting the sheep and watching them and the scary, 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 yeah, yeah, not, mm -mm, I don't think I'd want, what about at nighttime protecting them from the wolves and the lions. That was a hard thing, but David knew that God was with him and he was able to do it. And then he also was able to, that yes, fight off Goliath. We talked about that. You can see a, our book here we've been kind of going through. That was a hard thing, but once again, he knew that God was with him. And then friends, God helps us trust him because even though David knew God was with him, he had to trust in God's word. And when God told him to do something, he had to trust that God was going to help him through. And that was the second thing that we learned. One, God helps us do hard things. And then two, we need to trust in him. And then number three, God helps us obey. I know it's really hard sometimes. This is true. It's hard to obey. Your tie is coming crooked. Yes, it, God helps us to obey. Do you remember some things that David had to obey to do? That's right. He had to take obey his father and go out into the field and watch the sheep. And then he also had to obey to go to the battlefield to take the food. His father said, take the food to your brothers. So there were some things that David learned about obedience and obeying, and God helped him to obey. Now this last one, we're on number four. God helped David to be brave. Yeah, he had a lot of things he had to be brave for. No, I know, he he doesn't like camping in the dark. We, we talked about that once before, huh? But you had a lantern and you remembered that Jesus is the light? Yes, we talked about that. That was a, a long time ago when you went camping. So we've learned that about you. But God helps us to be brave. Do you think he had to be brave to fight off the lions, to save the sheep? I think he probably did. What about Goliath? Mm, yes, I think he had to be really brave and trusting in God and obeying and knowing that God was with him and that God will fight the battle. The, the Bible says that the battle is the Lord's. It belongs to him. And if he asks us to do hard things, he's going to take care of us. And it's all him. It's, it's his job to help us through. And we can trust in that when God says to do something. You do? Really? He's got something in his heart. Should we check? Yep, okay. Oh, all righty, let's see what's in there. That's, you've got something in there? Okay, Ooh, it feels a little weird. Ew, why? Why do you have a plastic spider in your heart? You're scared of spiders, so you have one in your heart. That does not make any sense. Okay, you used to be scared of spiders. He used to be scared of spiders, but that still doesn't explain why he's got a plastic one in your heart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that down, okay? Oh, I see, you used to be afraid, and then 
you started praying and asking Jesus to help you be brave, that makes sense. And so this reminds you to be brave. Okay, but how did that help? I get it. God told him to go start looking at spiders. You know, sometimes friends, once you start looking at things like a spider that some people think are scary, you start to find out cool information when you study them. Is that what? Yeah, that's what he, so when he started to study spiders, he found some cool things and he started to not be so scared. He started to learn about them. That's one way to face your fears is to start to learn about things because God created spiders. That's yeah, God did create them, created them for a purpose. They have a purpose. That's true. One of their purposes is to catch the pesky flies. They make the beautiful webs and they catch flies and uh, yeah, I don't like pesky flies either. Sometimes I wonder what they were created for. We should look into that. But friends, that is very true. That is one way that we can be brave and God can help us to be brave. Is Sometimes it's just a matter of asking some questions and learning about something and we find out it's not so scary. Other times there are scary things and we can pray and we can really trust in God that he's gonna take care of us. Yeah, those are two different ways of looking at it, huh? Yeah, all right, friends, I hope you have an amazing week. And remember the four lessons from the life of David. God helps us do hard things. God helps us trust him. God helps us obey. And the fourth and final, God helps us to be brave. The battle belongs to the Lord. That's our verse, and it's from Samuel 17. The battle belongs to the Lord. Love you guys. I hope you have an amazing week. Bye.